Welcome everyone to this 30 minute yoga video. My name's Dr. Celia and I'm really excited to share this practice with you. Today you will need a cushion and if you are second or third trimester I recommend you have something you can prop yourself on for when we do half Hanuman in the sequence. I'm using two puzzles. You could use saucepans or yoga blocks if you have them. Let's get started. Come to sit on your cushion in a comfortable cross-legged position. Take an inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. Lightly bring the palms facing up. Bring your best quality of attention to your breath. Inhaling through the nose, sitting up tall. Exhaling, imagining, washing your calming breath over baby. Now place a hand on your baby and a hand on your heart. It really helps me every day to do even just a very short yoga practice. And the mantra which really helped me prepare for the birth of my two children was this. I am preparing my body for the birth of my baby. I am preparing my mind for the birth of my baby. I truly believe there is no better way than to practice yoga and to practice non-attachment. So we are simply nourishing body, preparing for baby to come, no matter how they decide to come, no matter what method of birth. Taking three deep breaths, drinking this truth in. And then come to open eyes. Changing the cross of your legs. Taking an inhale, stretching the arms up, shoulders soft. Exhale, bringing the left hand behind you on fingertips and the right hand onto knee. Inhale, lift the back ribs up away from pelvis. So we're creating space in spine. Exhale, twist at the upper chest. So it's important to still do gentle twists in pregnancy. And we use our breath to lengthen up through the spine, creating a bit more space for baby here. Inhaling, stretching up through the arms. Exhale and coming to the twist on the other side. I never felt there was enough room for baby in both my pregnancies. We often suffer from back pain and pain in the ribs. Practice yoga in a way that lengthens you. Do this by inhaling, bringing the crown of the head up. Exhale, grounding down through the sit bones. So whatever changes are happening around us, we always have the, the earth beneath us and the sky above us, and we can lengthen tall, creating space for babe. Good. And then slowly releasing. Place your cushion to one side for now. Coming onto all fours. Bring the hands directly under shoulders, spreading the hands super wide here, knees a hip distance apart. We're going to do pelvic tilts. Keep the upper back still and the spine is in a neutral position, so we're not dumping down into the lordosis of the lower spine. Inhale, lengthen the chest forward, tailbone back, neutral spine. Exhale, tilt the pelvis. 
so that the top crest of your pelvis comes down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tilting pelvis. It's just a very small tilt here. No big movements, so we don't destabilize the core. Inhale, lengthen. Exhaling, tilt. Keep going with your own breath. And this is a, a really fantastic move to do in the first stage of pregnancy when things are starting to happen. It might be a little less comfortable than normal. Just keeping some gentle movements into the pelvis can really help. Good. Okay, coming back to neutral here. Taking an inhale, stretch the left hand out. Exhale, roll the shoulder blades down your back. Inhaling, right leg comes out. Exhale, reach through the heel. So we're releasing tight calves. Either staying here or the up level is to lift hand and foot off the floor. Taking an inhale, balloon the breath through your heart to baby. Exhale, hug baby into spine so the belly button can come in, still strengthening our core in pregnancy in a safe and mindful way. Taking an inhale, filling your lungs with fresh breath and exhaling we slowly lower. Good. Knee and foot come down. I'm just doing whatever gentle wiggles, feel good. Having done one side, I think it's nice just to have a little bit of a mobilization here. And then coming back to neutral spine, taking an inhale, bring the right hand out, fingers spread wide. Exhale, shoulders down, just check in that neck and jaw are relaxed. Inhale, stretching out through the back leg. Exhale, reach through your calf. Oh, so nice to stretch out the calves and the feet. And then friends, either staying here or you have the option to take an inhale. And as you exhale, slowly lift the foot and hand up. And again, as we exhale, we use this to bring the lower belly into the spine hugging baby towards us. Think of squeezing the thighs towards each other. This helps stabilize the pelvis. Inhaling. Exhale, lowering hand and foot down. Good. From here, we you just check in with hands, 20 bones in the hand excluding wrists, Spread them as wide as you can to help get equal balance to your hands. Then relax your neck so much in between shoulders. You can feel your brain relax here too. Inhale, round the upper back to ceiling. Exhale, shoulder blades down your back. Tuck your toes for downward facing dog. And the legs can be as wide as you need to make room for baby. Keeping the knees bent, slowly walk the feet to hands or hands to feet if that feels better in your back. So we come to a wide legged forward fold here, no pressure on the baby. Just relaxing the head down. And here I invite you to feel a stretch down the back line of your legs, getting into calves and hamstrings. And we can do this by reaching the hips up and keeping the hips wide. Coming back to stillness, taking an inhale, slowly walking the hands up the leg, supporting back and pelvis, Taking an inhale, reaching up to sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. 
So if you have ended up at the back of your mat, come to the front. I'm going to teach you two different ways of doing pregnancy sun salutations. And I found no matter how busy I was towards the end of my pregnancy, every morning I get up, put my mat out, and I do two of these on each leg, and I just feel so much better for the day. So let's start by grounding, bringing the hands together in heart press center, and checking in with your breath and your heart. Coming back to that mantra that really serves us as we prepare for the wonderful arrival of our baby. I am preparing my body for the birth of my baby. I am preparing my mind for the birth of my baby. And then slowly opening eyes. Inhale, stretch the arms up to ceiling. Exhale, bending knees, come into our wide like a forward fold. Legs can be as far apart as you need. Now planting the hands, hands can be on your props or on the floor. We inhale, place the left foot back left shin down and then raise the arms up. So remember in pregnancy we don't come into our normal deep lunge because of the relaxing in our body, loosening ligaments, we want to ease back slightly, kind for pelvis. From here place hands either side of front foot, I'm just going to move my jigsaw so you can see, and we're going to bring the pelvis slightly down here, taking an Inhale, spreading the ribs wide. Exhale, bending the arms. Option to come into a half press up position, no weight on babe. As we exhale, pushing back into downward dog or a wide legged child's pose if downward dog doesn't serve you today. From here, lower the right leg down and bring the left leg forward. Leg can be out to the side if that feels better. Take an inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, hands onto props or onto floor. Forward fold. Inhale, ground through the feet, reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Hands on prop or floor. Inhaling, bring the right foot back, right knee down. Again, just being kind to your pelvis, easing back. Exhaling, hands onto block or onto floor as you make your way onto all fours. And this is the second way we do pregnancy suns. Inhale, neutral spine, lengthen. Exhale, tilt the pelvis as we did at the beginning of class, head relaxes. And then from here you can slowly push into downward dog. Inhaling, bringing the left knee down, right foot comes forward, the top of it, inhale, wash the breath through the lungs, through to babe. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bending knees as much as you need as we rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, if you want to do more of those, you can pause the video and keep going. For everyone else, we're gonna take a step back with the right leg and come into warrior two with the left leg forward. Now just check out what's happening with pelvis. So sometimes when we're pregnant, we can have quite an exaggerated lordosis, like a leaning forward. If this is happening, tuck the pelvis under slightly and lengthen the back ribs up. Bird wing. Bring the inner triceps towards the ribs, palms facing up. Let's stretch out through the chest, through the back. Take an inhale. Lengthen the chest forward. Exhale, hands come out to the side and the inner arms stay in contact with the ribs here. 
Inhale to center. Exhale, bird wing. And it's not a big movement. If you find the arms are out, you need to come back a little. Inhaling. Exhaling out to the side. Good. From here, place your hands on hips. Pivot the back foot, coming into warrior one on the ball of the back foot. Take an inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, either stay here or the up level, which means a bit more spice in your practice, we're lowering the knee to hover off the floor. Then we inhale, come back up. Good. From here, lower the back knee down. Hold onto your props, placing hands on props. And flex the front foot coming into half Hanuman. So a lot of my students and patients get stiff calves during pregnancy. And I really found I did too. The whole body, all the muscles are connected through fascia or through the way the biomechanics of our body works. So if you have lower back problems, I recommend you do this to help stretch through your hamstrings and calves. Wrap your left hip back a little bit. So left leg is forward, left hip back. And then flex through the foot so the toes come towards you. If any point this feels too strong, then ease back slightly. Place your props to one side to come into a pigeon position. So in pregnancy, I love doing pigeon with a couple of cushions in front of me to support chest so there's room for bump. If you're in first trimester, you have the option to use hands and come to the floor. The important thing about pigeon is that the hips are facing forward. That's the non-negotiable part. I always think of two pigeons having a little negotiation about this. So the hips must be forward. If you find they're a bit skew -iffy, bring the foot closer towards you if this feels too strong through the pelvis and the hip flexors, you can still do pigeon with the leg out in front. Whichever your variation you're in, bring the hands in front of you to support you. Take an inhale, lift the heart forward. Exhale, come into a gentle forward fold, making sure there's room for bump supporting yourself in any way you need. And I, I love to do this with one palm supporting my head and one palm massaging the nape of my neck. And we slowly come up placing cushions to one side. Coming in to Dolphin Prelude. This is a fantastic variation on child's pose when you're pregnant. The hips stay high, so there's room for bump, and the hip flexors stay open. The elbows walk forward, forehead down, fingers interlaced behind the nape of your neck. And what this isn't is not a back bend. So there is a slight tuck in the pelvis, taking it out of a lower back bend. Stay breathing in the pose while I tell you a little story. When I was in medical school, I remember the midwives who were training us, telling us about some research. And this research showed that people who went into birth and labour with a very fixed plan about what they wanted. Those were the ones that were always least satisfied with what happened. And they, they did some follow up after the birth with a big cohort of people. And I didn't really understand it until I went through two births myself. Non-attachment is such an important principle of yoga. When we go into the birth, it makes such a difference if we have a simple birth plan. 
my birth plan and the birth plan that I write for people, write with people, is always seven words. I hope I've got this right. My name is Celia. Have a baby. Slowly coming out of Dolphin Prelude, knuckles on floor, pushing back up onto all fours. And you can either come from downward dog, bringing the right foot forward, making your way on to, into warrior two, right leg forward, or you can go from downward dog into warrior two. And so you can see for this bit, I'm going to put the right leg forward myself. Bird wing. Preparing for bird wing. Feel the inside of your triceps against ribs. Take an inhale and wash energy through the heart, through your lungs. Exhale, hands out to the side, keeping contact with triceps and the ribs. Inhaling back to center. Two more in your own breath. and relaxing your arms down. Gently pivot the foot, coming into warrior one on the ball of back foot. Take a slow inhale, raise arms, feeling air in between fingers. Exhale, option to lower the back knee down, just hovering above floor. Inhaling, coming back up, and then we're holding our props Again for half Hanuman. Nourishing those stiff calves and hamstrings. So checking with hips, hips forward. We want to wrap the right hip back here. Dynamically flex the feet and spread the toes wide. Taking an inhale, grounding through the shin and the foot. Exhale, wrap right hip back. And here, like every pose, we, we're not attached to really what it looks like. We're attached to, to, to nothing apart from being connected and the feeling within inside us. Connect to the space you're creating in your foot as you spread it wide the stretch down the back of the calf and the hamstring. These are the feelings that get us out of our brain, get about out of the worries we might have on the way to pregnancy. Excuse me, the way to birth, you're already pregnant. <laughs> the way to birth. Connecting to feeling, letting go to any strong attachment we have about what the birth is gonna be like. And then from here, placing your puzzles or other props to one side, coming into pigeon, your version of pigeon. Using whatever props around you make you feel comfortable and nourished. Knowing that there are other variations of pigeon here. These little pigeons are having that non-negotiable, non-negotiation negotiation <laughs> about keeping the hip bones forward. Placing the hands in front of you. Inhale and lift the heart. Exhaling forward, forward. How would it feel to you to go into labour and into your birth with no attachment as to how the baby came? How much more space would there be inside your head if you let the plan go? Slowly come up from pigeon. And 
in the most comfortable way for you, make your way into Dolphin Prelude. Slowly come up for our warm down pose, coming into a straddle position. I found it most comfortable to sit on a cushion for this. You do what's best for your hips. Flex the feet back and turn on the quads here. Take an inhale, stretch left arm up. Exhale, bring the left hand inside of calf. Two options here, either arm overhead for side bend, or if you're tight across the front of your chest, Bring the hand around your back, holding either onto clothing or onto thigh. Inhale and spread across the collarbones. Exhale and bring the left side of your heart up towards the ceiling. Relax the neck down. Now to come out of the pose, place the left hand at left side of face, gently cradle the head up, releasing the arm. Inhale, stretching right arm up. Exhale, coming into side bend. Yogi's choice, either arm above the head or arm wrapped around your back. Inhale and lift the right bottom ribs up away from right thigh. Exhale, gently twist, creating space for baby. To come out of the pose, place right hand at right side of face. Feel the love you give to yourself as you cradle head up. Good. Now to come into Javasana, if you are first trimester or early second trimester, you may feel comfortable lying on your back at a slight tilt. If you have a bolster, you can place your bolster up against blocks or your props so you're lying at an incline. I really like lying in the left lateral position with a cushion or blanket in between my thighs and in between my ankles, head on a pillow and cuddling another pillow. You can never have enough pillows. <laughs> Come into whatever position is safe and comfortable for you and your baby. Feel the support of the ground and of all these props you have as you simply relax and let go. I invite you to stay in Shavasana as long as you need, pausing the video. When you're ready to come out, make your way onto your side and then slowly push yourself up to a seated position, sitting on your pillow if that's comfortable for you. And bring your hands around baby. Taking three deep breaths in your own time, transferring all that calm energy and goodness 
from your practice to your baby. Knowing that whatever happens around you, that amazing miracle, that amazing love you have in your heart for your baby is always there. And bringing your hands in prayer position over heart as a sign of gratitude. The goodness within me recognises the goodness within you. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Any questions, you are welcome to send me a message on Facebook. Otherwise, I will see you at Mama Baby Yoga. Much love. Bye.